Good evening, everyone. Rare enough that I get to say that. Um, from the crackling wireless reporting of the First World War to the live tweeting from the front lines we see today, journalists have risked their lives for over a century to capture the realities of conflict and the horrors of war. Journalists do so in the service of humanity. We believe they do so to provide the evidence we need to hold governments to account. They do so to uphold human rights. Journalist work is indispensable to our work here on the Security Council, and yet, in many situations, the Security Council agenda, journalists continue to be attacked. Less than two weeks ago, in Janine, in the occupied Palestinian territory, Shireen Abu Akleh was killed while wearing a blue press vest and a helmet. Journalists reporting on Russia's war against Ukraine have been targeted or silenced. In Afghanistan last year, the Taliban takeover saw the space for a free press diminished overnight, with women in particular bearing the brunt. Today, by convening this meeting, Ireland wants to shine a light on this issue. We want to stand in solidarity with journalists and media workers. And we want to draw attention to the active responsibility of the Security Council to protect journalists and to implement Security Resolution 2222. Today, we're going to hear briefings from Al Jazeera and from AFP, media organizations that have experiences on the front lines of conflict situations. We will also hear from the Committee to Protect Journalists through RTE Head of Current Affairs, John Williams, and as well from the UN Special Rapporteur, Irene Khan. This week is, as you know, Protection of Civilians Week at the UN, so it's only fitting, in my view, that we discuss this critical issue today. Journalists are civilians. Journalists are key to sustainable peace and to upholding democracy, and journalists should never, ever, ever be the targets. Thanks. Thanks, Ambassador. We'll take a couple of questions before we start the meeting. First to Kirsten from Al Jazeera. Thank you so much. And on behalf of my colleagues, certainly thank you for calling the meeting. I'm wondering, in calling this meeting, you asked Security Council members to consider what the Council can do to better address the, quote, prevalent impunity for crimes against journalists. What are you thinking in terms of that? What can the Security Council do better to address impunity and hold the perpetrators accountable, specifically in the case of Shireen Abu Akleh, my colleague? Thank you. Well, look, uh, the very fact of coming together today is a first step. We found it rather incredible that the Security Council didn't immediately react to the horrific killing of Shireen. My own minister, Foreign Minister Simon Coveney, has called for an urgent, immediate, uh, independent investigation of her death. We will repeat that today. I believe that the Security Council has a duty and a responsibility to protect journalists. We have a Security Re Council resolution, 2222, I just mentioned. So I think for a start, we need to raise that to the very top of our agenda. And as you put it yourself, we, we need to do a better job. We will be following up in a very pragmatic way in the weeks to come. And I'll say more about that in our meeting today. Uh, thank you, Ambassador Ibtissam Azim, Al Arab Al Jadid newspaper. Um, first, in your national capacity, I don't know if you are aware that there are uh, other um, investigations that were done by AP and CNN that came to a similar conclusion uh, to that uh, that Al Jazeera and the Palestinian Authority came to, uh, and that's that the killing of uh, Shirin Abu Akli was targeted. Uh, and it was by Israeli uh, soldiers, most probably. So you, do you have any comments on that? And do you believe that uh, the Security Council should call and should uh, have a committee to investigate uh, this killing? Thank you. 
Look, uh, Ireland, as I said, the Foreign Minister of Ireland has called for an urgent, transparent, independent investigation. We believe the perpetrators of this act, where we know a journalist was wearing a blue vest, was wearing a helmet, was standing in front of uh, a very uh, open area where she could be seen clearly to be doing her job. We believe that needs to be independently investigated. We also support the idea of the Security Council speaking out on this, so we will, as as our first step today, raise this up the agenda, and then we want to see follow through, that's for sure. Just to repeat, the Irish government has called for an independent investigation. Thanks, Ambassador, and Mr. First Council, we'll have a chance to speak in just a moment, so we'll go to the room now and start the meeting, but all members of the press pool are very welcome to join in the room. Access is possible from the third floor for anyone who wishes to, to join us. Thank you very much.